Hi everyone, you're on How Fix It. In this video guide, I'll show you how to replace the joystick on the DJI Remote Controller. This controller comes with drones such as Mavic Air 2, Air 2S, Mavic 3, Mini 2, and Mini 3 Pro. To disassemble the DJI controller, you will need the following tools. Screwdriver set. Tweezers. Plastic pry tools. Metal spudger. Also, I recommend using a magnetic mat during the repair process, which is especially useful in the case of the DJI controller. Throughout this disassembly, keep track of each screw so you can put them back in the right places. This will help successfully reassemble your controller. And don't worry about losing any of the screws. All of them will definitely remain on the magnetic mat. In the description, I left links where to buy all the necessary tools. Let's start disassembling the controller. Remove the two screws on the bottom of the controller where the joystick storage slot is located. And on the top of the controller, there are two screws hidden under the rubber tabs. Let's move on to opening the remote controller housing. Place the fingertips of both hands on the top of the controller housing and begin to open the case, separating the front and back panels. Now there is a gap through which it will be easier to open the controller body. Take a metal sponger, which is the most suitable tool in this case, and proceed to open the controller. To remove the controller joystick gap, 
turn off the screw inside the cover with a Torx T5 screwdriver. In the DJI Remote Controller, the analog stick is soldered on a separate board. You can replace the joystick modularly using this part number. Also, in the description, I left links where to buy a joystick for the DJI Remote Controller. and the right joystick has a different part number. Let's start reassembling the DJI Remote Controller. The analog stick has a special ledge for a seat inside the joystick cap. When you are putting on the joystick cap, make sure that the connectors match.
Before closing the controller housing, make sure the flight mode switch is set correctly. I really appreciate you watching my video guides. You can ask all additional questions regarding the repair in the comments. Thanks for watching, and have a safe flight.